Hello, my name is Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Subnautica, where you'll notice we're absolutely not where I left you before. Now, the reason that this has occurred is uh, I was recording yesterday and I had a small issue with the recording software in that it lost the whole of the episode I was doing. So, my plan was that this would come out on, the, on Friday, but I'm having to basically move it to the Monday where I'm recording it now basically to fill that gap. So filling you guys in on who this big chap is in front of us uh, effectively we ploughed on from the Lost River uh, and came a bit deeper and we are now in what's called the Lava Zone uh, and this guy that's right in front of us is the Sea Dragon and I'm really annoyed the recording software didn't work because if I go to my databank, I actually managed to get right up close and scan it. And I'm afraid you are going to miss that. It took a big chunk out of me, um, so I used the one medkit I was carrying. Um, but yeah, we got a scan of it. But here we are in the lava zone, uh, catching you up on what happened since. So. Originally, at the end of the last episode where I left you in the Lost River, um, we I was a nickel short. I'd got with a nickel to upgrade the depth module for the prawn suit. Uh, and, and I basically needed to go back to base and do that. So I did all of that, but I did a couple of other things. So, so with the um, depth module that I got built, I also in here brought the equipment for the thermal reactor module for the Cyclops, which I got built in the last episode, um, because I only needed kyanite for it, which we did a load of mining for. So for example, if I come and check the prawn suit inventory, you can see we've got a load of kyanite. I'm going to grab that diamond because I think I'm going to want it for a moment. Um, and effectively we did some upgrades. So the depth module for the Cyclops has now been maxed out, so this will go as deep as it possibly can in the game. The prawn suit we need to do a little bit more with. Um, I need to upgrade the depth module for that, but to undertake that, we are going to need where are we? Prawn suit depth. Some lithium, because I haven't got any lithium. I used all the small amounts that I. Well, okay, I didn't bring any with me, and this is part of what you missed last episode. I had to go hunting around, being chased by the sea dragon, looking for some lithium, so I could upgrade the depth module. Why do I feel he's swimming into us at the moment? Because we are being knocked about. Okay, well the engines are turned off, he doesn't consider the sub hostile, so it will just sit here, which is fine. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm sorry you guys missed all of that. Um, one of the other things I will mention uh, is I'm hoping that things look a bit more viewable because one of the comments that I got from JD um, was basically he was curious as to why the Lost River was so dark. Had I got any graphics settings set to make it dark? And the, the answer was no. Everything was set as default. But I did say I would increase the gamma uh, to hopefully make it more viewable and not quite so dark for you guys. So I'm hoping this is good for you. Uh, do let me know if not. Um, because, yeah, I'll, I want to correct that for you. Now, we did do a fair amount of wandering around uh, last episode, and effectively I was doing a, a bit of a sort of open heart session saying thank you to those guys that have been supporting, commenting, liking everything so far. I do appreciate it. I was being very open with the please give feedback if you, you find any, like JD mentioned it was uh, too dark, uh, because yeah I want to get better but at the moment the only way I can get better uh, is if you guys tell me oh I'm not quite ready for this yet let's jump back in here um, and unfortunately I'm too small a YouTuber to have a community tab where I can put that kind of sort of comments and quizzes and bits and pieces so I've only got sort of the comments on the videos so please make use of that though it did occur to me last night that I do also have a Facebook page you can contact me through there I've got the link in the page channel and I've got it on the end card uh, and I've also got a Twitter I'm trying to become more active on those but I'll be honest not many people are following on them so I'm more of you are following on YouTube directly so that's where I'm kind of focusing my energies um, 
you will notice down there, you might see Reaper Leviathan Skeleton. Um, but what I'm going to be kicking off with today, and why I wanted that diamond, is we have... Have I got any... I have got an iron cube. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Because I wanted to make another purple... Uh, oh, okay. Hang on. I thought it was an iron cube and... Where are the purple tablets? There they are. Purple tablet is an iron cube and two diamonds. Okay. That's fine. We've got another one in here. Right. Uh, because if I go to the clues in our data bank, fold all that down, data, clues, alien facility locations, you can see we've got a thermal power facility, which is 1,200 metres down. Oh, hello, you. Which, if I look at our depth, we're basically there. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, and you might have spotted that in when I popped out here a second ago. Now, I did have another purple tablet I'd thrown in one of these. I'm going to take the orange one as well, just in case. No idea what the Cyclops is bouncing around. Uh, because we've got our little green bit here. And this is going to lead us to that thermal plant. So, we are going to swim around here. One of the other upgrades I did do uh, was the charge fins that I've been mentioning for a while. So, I have the charge fins now, which means as I swim around... You can hear that sea dragon, can't you? Uh, yeah, which means as I swim around... Oh, this is a flipping maze, this place. There it is. Our alien facility. Yes, as I swim around, I'm actually going to be charging the sea glide now. Uh, so I'm now a portable battery charger. I'd never have to worry about running out of that again, which is great. Okay. So here we are. I have just realised I probably should have brought a couple of those iron cubes with me as well, because I think I need those. But, here's our alien facility. That is a big chunk of iron cubes, but we'd need the prawn suit to drill it. And I haven't got the prawn suit with me. Well, it's in the Cyclops, but I can't really get it here easily. Perfect, that's a purple tablet which we're going to pop that in because we like to open doors open sesame okay and we have a blue tablet we'll give that a scan in case we need to make any of those I'm sure that will come in useful and then we can continue to have a poke around this facility. Now, yeah, this is why I should have brought an ion cube. Oh. Come here to me. We're being summoned by that weird thing that appeared before. Yeah, I don't have an ion cube. The blast. And I can't mine those, not even by hand. Oh well, okay. So not too worried about that because I have ways of getting an iron cubes in a bit. Well, that's not not important necessarily. So we want to explore down here. Oh, look, there's an iron cube there. We can make use of that. And we have a data download. Integrating new PDA data. Take that iron cube. I could have sworn this was force fielded this bit. That's the whole reason I made that second purple tablet. Here we have the alien thermal plant. So this is basically using all of the hot water and the lava around here to power everything. So I'll just let you guys pause that if you want to have a read. And then we will hoover up more data. The primary containment facility. Integrating new PDA data. That's interesting. Uh, primary alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system. At depth 1.4 kilometers. Okay, so, and it also gives us the distribution of where the power is going, so you can see the disease research, the one that was knocked the floor is offline. Now, the one thing you always want to grab if you're coming here, you'll notice there's an orange tab there. We want to grab this, because this... Integrating new PDA data. ...will give us... Synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data. Blueprints stored to data bank. Ion batteries and ion power cells, both of which are fantastic. Now, 
you get them very late in the game. I kind of wish you'd get them earlier, because they're not game-breaking. They're just massive batteries. They take a long time to use all the energy in them. Um, but we are going to be wanting them. Oh, random screen glitches there. Missed whether that happened on the recording or not. But we're going to use that iron cube we picked up and dump it straight in here. Because now we have a way to bring the prawn suit in here if we need to, because we can go to the other end of that, which is in the contain the basically the big gun platform. Uh, and it will teleport us here if we need it. We've got little alien robot dudes. Ooh. Ah! I didn't think you were hostile unless I attacked you first. Okay, oh well. They don't do that much. Right. But that's actually all we need from here. Um, it's not that big. So now we want to get back out. Okay, so we want to head this way. We need to find a way back into that cave network. You can see all the random blue look kind of hanging around here, but Again, I'm sorry you guys missed it. We did a chunk of mining for that last episode, so we don't actually need to pick any more up. Okay. One of the few times this map is going to be slightly useful. So I can see there's a gate roughly somewhere in this direction. There we go, that's let us in. And we want to swim around here. Oh, that's magnetite, that's not what I want. So. We are going to need to head out in the prawn suit in a minute and go looking for some lithium and some titanium so we can basically upgrade the depth module on the prawn suit because we're going to need that better. We're going to need that maxed out. Now, these things siphon power from your cyclops. You can see I've got two of them on my little radar or marker there. However, the whole reason I wanted that thermal upgrade is the thermal energy will replenish faster than they can suck it out so I still don't actually have to worry about them. Right. Him I do have to worry about. Engine so we're going to very very slowly come on and then go Explode. slowly to be quiet be quiet try and move away from him this direction. There you go, there's our little sound. Basically minimised it mid down. But you can see, even with silent running going, we're still just about not using any power, and that's kind of exactly what I wanted. Okay. Clank, clank, right. What I do want to do. Now I've got away from where he and the sea dragon immediately was. I want to get near where our way down is and then park the cyclops there and then we'll go exploring in the prawn suit looking for the lithium. So I want to find that. This is why that thermal upgrade is so useful to me because there we go, there's a way down. That looks promising. Turn that off. See the sea dragon over there. Yeah. This looks like a good place to park. Yeah. Okay. Silent running off. Engine, Engine off. Powering down. Burn those things off. So you can flick the shield on and it basically gets them all off your hull. So yeah, they're all gone for that. Right, okay. So, we want to find some titanium. Uh, probably, because I think we're missing a piece or so for that. Kyanite we've got plenty of, and then some lithium. So, let's go explore for a little bit. Right, okay. Slightly upset you guys missed it because there was a bit where I was reading one of the PDAs and the sea dragon came and attacked me while I was in the prawn suit, which did make me jump. Um, yeah, really caught me by surprise because I didn't realise I'd wandered into his territory. But, like I say, I'm genuinely sorry that went weird um, and it's not going to happen at all. But I suppose it happens to kind of every YouTuber at some point. Videos do go. Um, 
but unfortunately I hadn't noticed it until after I'd kind of finished my session. Uh, and when I finish the sessions, I normally hit save, just to make sure that I don't then lose where I've got up to for the next episode and have to repeat something. In this case, that backfired on me because I kind of needed to repeat it. Um, but I, I don't know that it would have been the same, so I'm just going to continue moving on with it. Um, we'll keep going as far as we go. So the challenge we've got with lithium where it comes around uh, to try and get it this deep is that there aren't actually any lithium nodes like you can see I'm mining this titanium at the moment. So we have to find scale nodes, which is normally okay, uh, but I will be honest, I did break seven or eight different shale nodes and I only just got the two lithium last time, so I'm hoping it'll be a bit quicker today. No, that's a diamond. Let's continue to move around. So, a couple of the other upgrades. Uh, I mentioned I got the swim charge flippers um, because I had the materials back at the base and I just built them while I was there doing the other upgrades for the prawn suit depth module that I'd mentioned. Um, and I also got the reinforced dive suit, so which is why I'm able to sort of cope in these temperatures and the like. Oh, lovely. There's one of our two lithium that we need. Um, like I say, again, I had the resources around, and it was one of those things that's just good to have. So, yeah, we've been making those upgrades. I hope you don't mind I didn't do them off, uh, off screen for you, because ultimately, like I say, I, I needed to run back to the base. I thought it was going to be incredibly dull for you guys to genuinely just come with me back to the base, build a couple of things, and then get back into the Lost River where we were. Um, so, yeah, I, I took the executive decision. Uh, and no, oh, it's a flipping warper. Right, where is the prawn suit? There we go. See, warpers are more annoying than anything because that didn't really harm my health at all. It was just took me out of the uh, prawn suit. Uh, that's nickel on the wall there, so that's not what we're looking for. Come on, one lithium, and then we can really move on and start making some progress. Because I need the prawn suit depth module, because I'm going to need it where we're going next. Which is looking for that. That's nickel again. Uh, sure, why not? I'm right here. Uh, yeah, because we're going to be going deeper again. Which is why I was looking for that hole, because you... We saw where it was referencing that alien primary alien containment facility. It's even deeper down. No, I don't really want a diamond. And this is what some of the last episode was, so you may be happy that you missed it? Because one of the questions I kind of... Oh, go away! Flipping warpers right on top of me. Uh, one of the questions I asked was what was worse, uh, watching me run around hunting for lithium uh, or watching me run around hunting for copper in the earlier episodes. But it's a genuine question. Feel free to kind of treat that as a poll in the comments. Uh, because like I say, I haven't actually got the capability to do actual polls in um, in a community tab yet. Look, I'm hoping to get... Well, I say I'm hoping. I'm looking forward to getting one because I'm confident the channel will grow. It has been growing. Uh, I was ecstatic today, actually, because today um, we actually hit our 30th subscriber, which really pleased me, because, I mean, it's not a massive milestone. Uh, 100 is going to be the, the first really big milestone, because then I get the custom URL, uh, not the random one. So, oh, inventory full. Fluey, that means I need to... All right, I'm just going to grab that from here. Uh so that's that, we can head back now. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, yeah, 100 is going to be giving me the custom URL, which will be great. But 30 felt like a nice round milestone to, to see that the channel's continuing to grow. So, yeah, thanks to everyone that has been subscribing and, and watching and hopefully enjoying all of these. Um, yeah, I'm just pleased to see it continue go sort of going up. But it's, uh, yeah, one of those bits where you kind of, it feels like 
YouTube will give me the like bigger tools I need, like the community tab and a custom URL, later than I'd actually be able to make immediate use of them, which is a little bit frustrating, but I mean, it is what it is. Right, so we want to take out that depth module, uh, take out the lithium, five titanium, I think that was all we needed, wasn't it? Oh no, and some kyanite, which there's a load of in here. Okay. And then we can make our corn suit depth module. We can put that back in here. Cool. So the prawn suit will now go to seven, 1700 meters. I don't even know that you can get that deep in the game. Let's try and empty out the prawn suit. Right, let's take a drink. Yeah, we'll go and dump that down below and then come get those last two bits because we're going to want empty containers there. I mean, I don't mind having the titanium because if we fill it up in here, and I know this one's completely disorganised, uh, but this is just, I say, temporary storage for while we're running around. But if we fill it up, we can use the titanium to put more lockers on the walls. Right, okay, let's head... Oh, this was happening last time. It was really weird trying to get control of the sub. It was like it wouldn't identify uh, that I was trying to gain control of it. Okay, so we're already on slow. Just reaping that. That's our pit. I'm going to use cameras for this. Okay, there's our keel. Because we're going to want to go down deeper underground. And we continue to descend into the abyss, into even more hot stuff. Okay. Oh, I was just thinking I could probably give up the camera there and then hit something. Okay. What have I hit on? Genuinely, what am I stuck on? What am I... What am I stuck on? Why am I not able to descend? Go on, down. Alright, can I get back up? can, right, okay. There we go. Right, alright, okay, alright. Okay. No idea what I was hitting there, but let's keep going. Burn those things off. They tend not to jump on you while you're moving. It's only when you're stationary they get hold of you. So... Here we hit even more lava. And we're going... There you go. You can see the edge of the map's not quite loaded in, but it is basically just the floor is lava. And we've got an alien structure down there. Oh, I keep, you can hear it crashing into things. So yeah, there's another sea dragon down here, which is great. We're just going to continue sneaking under him. And yeah, we were contacted again by that mysterious thing that's been trying to talk to us for, oh, for ages now, actually. You know, it opened with the what are you, and then radio silent until we got to that power facility. But we're going to want to go in here. Turn silent running off, engine and engine off. Powering down. Then we will get some more food. Eat up. Uh, we'll use 
our knife. Take those two out, put the seeds in. Okay. Uh, oh, we kind of want to patch that up. So we will come down here. Oh, you're not going to let me patch it up from down here. That's frustrating. I, thought, I always thought you could. Okay, that's fine. And we'll down here, and then we'll take a walk. So we continue to head in this direction. Hop, because we can't take the Cyclops in here, so we might as well take this in. But we're now in an air zone, so we haven't got to worry about air anymore. Right, we'll patch that up, because I think maybe that's where most of the damage that walker did went. Did it directly to the prawn, so... Ooh. Okay, right, and then what do we need in here? A blue tablet. Okay. I didn't think that's where the blue tablet got used. That could be interesting. Whoa. Okay. Then we will come up here. I hope that wasn't too loud for everyone. And this is why I've put the prawn suit in. You can see we've got. Local alien broadcast. Warning: vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg fetching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. I mean that's ominous. Uh, but the reason I brought the prawn suit is we have ion cubes we can mine here. So we're gonna drill through these we need some more ion cubes. And this... I always thought that was a bigger box in there. Or a bigger... thing it put there. Because that is an ion cube production facility, so that's going to go... Brrr. Ooh, pretty green light. Anyone else feeling the Borg from Star Trek here? Because, you know... It's all square geometric shapes and whopping great green lights. But what that does is that will replenish effectively that stack of ion cubes so we can mine more. Oh, I don't remember it taking that long. Okay, right. Either way, let's hop out of that. And let's go and while that's doing its refilling. Right, what colour do we need in here? do need another blue. Interesting, that means we need to go back out to the Cyclops and build one. I did not expect that. There you go, you can see the ion cubes reforming. Okay, alright, go and make another... Oh, we're going to need those ion cubes that are in the brawn suit. Why have you not crouched down? There you go, crouch down. It's very weird, it started trying to move right. Okay. And we didn't clear those two bits out. Okay, so we'll head back out this way and we're gonna need to make another blue tablet. Right on that. And this <laughs> Wow, it's even too hot for the reinforced dive suit. But this is why I wanted the um, fabricator on the Cyclops for random stuff like this. Now, for a blue one, I know we need kyanite. Just don't know how much. Right, okay, blueprints. Where our tablets? Skim looking through these. Uh, where are they? There they go, tablets. Blue tablet is just an iron cube and kyanite. Okay, that's fine. We've got that now. So we can come here. We can make our blue tablet. No idea why the depth of the Cyclops appears to keep changing. Okay, we'll go back through here because we want to look through that mystic strange door at the end. Uh, run, 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 run. Oh, 
I do hope that's not too loud for you guys. But yeah, look, those iron cubes are back up there. We can mine them if we want. Put that in here. Okay, then what have we through here? Nice big open area with, oh look, a blue glowy gas thing. Only way I can describe it. It looks odd, but hey, we're already sick and in theory dying from the cholera virus, so how about we dive in? So this is what has been trying to talk to us all this time and we'll pick that up next episode. So I'm just going to pop up and get some air but thank you very much all for joining me. Uh, likes, comments, subscriptions, they all help the channel grow. Uh, as I mentioned earlier the channel has been growing and I'm really pleased to see that. But yeah, thank you all very much for those that are helping to make that happen and continue. Uh, what other way I could get back up? But yeah, other than that, thanks all very much, and I will see you all next time.